The closure of Wellstar Atlanta Medical Center last fall left the metro area with just one level one trauma center. That's Grady's Marcus Trauma Center. But it won't be easy finding another hospital to fill trauma coverage voids. The well, Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to explain. Hey, Beth. And hey, Alex and Eric. And you know, to get that status of a level one trauma center, you have to meet a whole list of requirements. You need to have general surgeons who are there in house 24 seven and a team of surgeons and critical care specialists that can be called in quickly. You also have to be a teaching hospital. So replacing a level one trauma center like Wellstar AMCs will be complicated. Police cars and SWAT. It was several shots and she was just screaming. Well, everybody is as stable as they can be. When a 24 year old opened fire inside a Midtown Atlanta medical building in May, shooting five women and sending the area into lockdown, the four survivors were rushed to Grady's Marcus Trauma Center, where Dr. Elizabeth Benjamin, the trauma medical director for Grady Health System, says the team is able to mobilize quickly. You have specialty surgeons, uh, immediate OR capability, trauma surgeons in house. You can go to the operating room in five minutes and then we can go straight from the helipad to the operating room. And with the abrupt closure of Wellstar Atlanta Medical Center, the city's only other level one trauma center last November, Grady is now Atlanta's only top tier critical care provider. But with the world's busiest airport here and events that draw tens of thousands downtown, Georgia State Senator Kay Kirkpatrick, an orthopedic surgeon for 30 years here, worries that Atlanta is vulnerable. I don't think you can ever be fully prepared for a mass casualty event, but when you take away a level one trauma center, certainly we're in worse shape for a mass casualty event than we were before. The closest level one trauma center, Northeast Georgia Medical Center, is 53 miles away in Gainesville. And Kirkpatrick, vice chairman of the Senate Committee on Health and Human Services, worries that a disaster may be more than one hospital here can handle. Taylor Swift was a great example. I mean, something goes wrong at one of those events or some kind of disaster, whether you're a level one trauma center or not, Grady's quick going to become overwhelmed because they operate at high capacity all the time and so the patients are just going to go anywhere in the metro that the EMTs can take them. Other major U.S. cities have at least two level one trauma centers. Washington, D.C. has three, Philadelphia, four, Miami and Houston, two, Detroit and St. Louis, three, and Dallas, Fort Worth has four level one trauma centers. And time is critical. Trauma survivors can deteriorate quickly, so their best chance of surviving is to get to a critical care facility within 60 minutes. Dr. Benjamin says AMC shutdown has impacted Grady's Marcus Trauma Center, where they had about 9,000 trauma call activations in 2021. But Benjamin says they're expanding and keeping up with the jump in demand since AMC's closure. Obviously, we would have loved to have had a little bit more advanced warning, but even with that, we we're able to absorb the trauma uh, increases quite easily. Another challenge, getting to a level one trauma center status is a major undertaking for a hospital system that can take years. When you have a level one trauma center, what goes along with that is a huge amount of resources. In January, Piedmont Henry Hospital in Stockbridge, which has been heavily impacted by the Wellstar AMC closure, became a level three trauma center. And Kirkpatrick says Piedmont Healthcare plans to invest more in boosting critical care here. She says hospitals across the area will need to do what they can to be ready to back Grady up when the next disaster hits. So that they will be prepared for people that are almost certainly gonna show up there, whether they're ready or not. And Georgia has 34 trauma centers, including five level one trauma centers. And Dr. Benjamin says the state is working to strengthen its trauma network, putting resources into level two and level three and level four trauma centers. She believes that Atlanta will be okay with only one level trauma center for now. Yeah, and just in that, you know, growing up here, AMC was always a busy hospital. Grady mm -hmm. was always a busy hospital. So we mm -hmm. can only imagine just the amount of people going into their emergency rooms now. Yes, and so I think it's going to be really important over the next few years in the, in sort of the immediate aftermath of this that the hospitals really be stepping up their, tra their trauma training, their preparedness for disasters, you know, because one plane crash or something like yeah. that can really overwhelm a hospital. Yeah, and you mentioned it. Those first few minutes could be the matter of life and death. 
Yeah, they talk about that golden hour. You know, you need to have a place to take them. You need to have a team ready to treat trauma victims. Great. Beth, Beth thank yeah. you. Thanks.